Hi boys and girls, it's me, Miss Booksy. Today we're reading chapter four of Tricky Jack. Last time, the tricky witch had challenged Jack again to a climbing contest, but Jack ran away. Let's find out where he's going. Jack ran as fast as he could to the pumpkin patch nearby and started picking all the pumpkins he could. Big pumpkins, tiny pumpkins, anything he could. Then he raced back to the tree and started placing the pumpkins at the bottom. Soon there was a whole field of pumpkins at the bottom of the tree. It didn't take long for the witch to realize that Jack hadn't followed her in the race. Hey, what's going on down there? Looks like you've won again. The witch slowly climbed back down the tree but stayed at the bottom branch as the truth hit her. There was no way for her to get down without hitting one of the pumpkins. Oh, a root vegetable! No! What do you have to say for yourself, witch? Uh, darn it! There's no way for me to get down without being banished again. I have a new idea. What's that? You and I will make a deal. You will never bother me again for as long as I exist. You'll never take me to your home with darkness and ghosts and stuff. And what do I get in return? I'll move these pumpkins away so you can get down. The tricky witch considered Jack's words. Okay, deal. If you move the pumpkins, I will never be able to bother you and you'll never be allowed to enter the realm of darkness. Deal. You have no idea, do you? About what? Not every deal is as great as it seems. Sure, whatever. Bye, witch. You'll never bother me again. And as promised, the witch never bothered Jack again. Jack lived the rest of his life pranking people, pulling tricks, and being a troublemaker. He did so until he was a very old man, living alone and friendless. And soon Jack's life was done. I'm ready to go to the next realm. I hope it's fun. But just then, the angel appeared in front of him. Hello, angel food cake. I'm ready for you to take me to my next life. I'm sorry, Jack, but I can't. What do you mean? You weren't a good person. You spent your whole life playing tricks on people. What? Your spirit will stay in this realm and for all of eternity, and you'll never be allowed to leave. Well, that's fine. I can still play pranks and stuff. Well, actually... Psych. You're a ghost, Jack. And in that moment, Jack realized the gravity of what he'd done. He had spent his whole life finding joy in hurting other people. And now, there were consequences. But, but I'll change. I'll be good. I'll do good deeds. It's too late. I gave you the chance to change your ways and do good deeds when you were young. But changing your mind just because you know there are consequences isn't enough. No one should be a good person because they have to be, but because they want to be. So what do I do now? I guess that's up to you. As the angel and the witch faded away, Jack was left to wonder about everything he did. Were all the tricks worth it? In exchange for a lifetime of fun, he now had to spend eternity trapped on Earth. This is what I get for not learning my lesson. And so Jack spent the rest of eternity wandering the streets watching. He's been known to prank other tricksters like he once was so that they may not make the same mistakes. Boo! <laughs> As time passed and Jack continued to haunt the town, his story was passed down from generation to generation. Everyone knew the story of Tricky Jack and how he was trapped on Earth forever. Afraid that he would haunt them, the townspeople treated October 31st as a special day to keep tricksters away. Families would put out candy so that children could enjoy sweets freely instead of taking them like Jack did. And they also put out pumpkins to keep the Tricky Witch away. The lit pumpkins were named jack-o'-lanterns in Jack's honor, like the lantern he held. This special day soon came to be known as Halloween, which we still celebrate today. Wow, I didn't know that the legend of Halloween was such a cool story. <laughs> what did you think of it? Do you celebrate Halloween? What's your favorite Halloween costume? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for this story, boys and girls, but we'll be back again with story time soon. Bye, see ya.